In 1999, while my elder daughter was recovering from hemiplegia, I was diagnosed with tumor for the second time in life. My husband was in Kargil fighting the war that time. And here I was, feeling helpless, feeling low. I was confused. I couldn't take care of my own daughters. I couldn't be a good mother. Everything around was getting darker. My thoughts within me were getting darker. But that's when my father made me realize the meaning of my name. That was my let's end darkness moment. I am Deepa Malik and this is the story of my let's end darkness moment. I was five when I was diagnosed with tumor for the first time. I did not understand much at that time, but I could feel the pain my parents were going through. There was no point in praying for a disabled girl to stay alive. My parents didn't think like that. They always stood by me. They gave it all they had for my recovery. For the next four years, their life was just me and ensuring I get on my feet. And they got me back on my feet. I recovered. Our lives got back to normal. I did all those things a regular child would do. You know, like riding bikes, playing and going crazy sometimes. But I always wanted to be a good daughter to my parents. Probably because I had seen the pain they went through during my treatment. I was always a good student and would actively participate in sports and co-curricular activities in college. Then came the phase in my life that I cherished the most. I got married to an army officer and became mother to two beautiful daughters, Devika and Abhika. With my husband serving the nation at frontline, my daughters became my world. All three of us would laugh, play and cuddle together. But as fate would have it, Devika met with an accident leaving the left side paralyzed. In 1999, while Devika was still recovering, I was diagnosed with tumor yet again. And I was paralyzed chest below. At the same time, my husband was posted in Kargil amidst the ongoing war then. That was when Devika needed me the most. But there I was, her disabled mom. No matter how much I wanted to support her and Ambika, I was helpless. There were many a times when I wished I could stand on my feet to just take care of them. But I couldn't. Those were the toughest times for me and my family. Rather, the darkest days. People around had given up hope on Devika too just the way they had given up on me. Everyone was trying to push us down. They all were trying to push my daughters down. I couldn't take it. I just wanted to break free and stand as a shield for my daughters to protect them from all the negativity. That is when I remembered the values that my father had inculcated in me. I even wrote a poem as a tribute to him. Deep si prajwalit, sakaratmakta ko samarpit, veer swabhav se gathit, bitya tum aisi hona, gyan se dur karna andhkar, zulm ka na sehna prahar, manavta ka karti raho prachar, bitya tum aisi hona, hirday ke har dar ko harana, jeet ke hi sarvada deep jalana, Karmatta ki shakti ko badhana, bitya tum aisi hona. Peedit ko avashya dena daan, shrishta chaar ka karna adan pradan. Desh ke liye de dena balidan, bitya tum aisi hona. Na karna kabhi swayam ki badai, seekhte rehna khub karna padhai. Andhkar pe karna roshni ki chadhai. Bitya, 
तुम ऐसी हो ना आग की ज्वाला सा ज्योति के उजाला सा दीपा रखा है मैंने नाम तुम्हारा जीवन के संघर्ष से कभी डर न जाना दीपा बेटी मेरी तुम सदा उम्मीद का एक नया दिया जलाना थ्रू दिस पोएम आई रियलाइज द मीनिंग ऑफ माई नेम दीपा हाउ कैन दीपा बी अफ्रेड ऑफ डार्कनेस आई हैड फाउंड माई लेट्स एंड डार्कनेस मोमेंट एंड आई डिसाइडेड टू एंड ऑल डार्कनेस इन माई लाइफ आई फेल्ट ब्लेस्ड टू बी अलाइव I decided not to be sad anymore. I built my own identity, my charm. It did not matter if I was paralyzed chest below or I had no bladder or bowel control. I was going to take care of my daughters. I gave up all my inhibitions and I started going out on a wheelchair. I immediately saw the world change around me. people became more comfortable talking to me their behavior towards both me and my daughters changed once normalcy returned to our lives i turned my passion into profession and that's how sports became my calling i have not looked back ever since i became the first indian woman to win a paralympic medal when i won silver at the rio paralympic games 2016 i felt proud to be the president of paralympic india contingent too which won a record 19 medals at the tokyo games i also undertook raid the himalaya in sub zero temperatures in 2009 each time i have tested my limits i have learned more about the beauty of my life In 1999 everybody had given up on me 7 days is what they thought I would survive for but in those 7 days I never gave up hope I just prepared myself for a longer battle and in those 7 days I found my light I found my let's end darkness moment It doesn't matter how dark it is outside. You just need to bring out the light from within and end the darkness. Let's end discrimination. Let's end darkness. Havel's lighting 1999